Let's have a look now at some of the highlights from day three here at Cybos 2020, where the theme was the future of finance. And there's plenty to talk about. The views from the top conference stream gathered pace with talks from, amongst others, Matt Common, CEO of Commonwealth Bank of Australia. It's really important that the, you know, technology works alongside uh, people because it, it is uh, absolutely still a really important uh, people business and the relationship that we have with clients, particularly in you know, in business and certainly in institutional, it, it does depend on the way that you can bring those two together. And of course, you know, when you've got a large team of, team of people that you're leading, you, know, you want to harness the best of both of those. And you know, we've got some fantastic people and we want to bring that alongside uh, the best technology in the market. And I think together that's a very compelling uh, proposition, hopefully for our customers. Kathy Besant, Chief Operations and Technology Officer at Bank of America, discussed planning for the future amid uncertainty. First and foremost, employee safety is the key. We will put that at the fulcrum of every decision that we make, pure and simple, and I think most companies feel the same way about it. What I would say, though, is that for our company, we are firm believers that a co-location environment is the optimal environment for us and very important to becoming and continuing to be uh, who we want to be and who we can and should be as a firm. Our outcomes are better. All of the work that we do has better outcomes when we're co-located. We have greater opportunity to have the culture and the cultural exchange that we want. And I think the opportunity, not I think, I know, the opportunities for organic interaction, for organic communications are greatly enhanced when we're co-located. And those kinds of things are incredibly important to driving out creativity, to driving out energy, um, and to growing our younger people into uh, leadership roles, as we talked about earlier in the discussion. In his view from the top, Stephen Van Reschweck, CEO of ING, focused on the regulation of data amongst other key issues. You see with the new regulation and uh, uh, new open platforms and open banking that a number of competitors are entering this space and they get access to our data. Actually, they are not our data, these are our customers' data. Uh, and at the same point in time, they can use their own data as well that they get from customers. And we strongly advocate that there needs to be a level playing field. So, and I think also that is being seen by the different regulatory authorities, as well as the fact that uh, a customer should have an equal amount of protection, regardless who uses that data. And what we see in our interaction with regulators that they have now come onto this, and that will be a third element of the discussion uh, that we will have to be able to compete at the level playing field. A flavour of some of the key contributions from day three of Cybos 2020. Day four has a sub-theme of banking for humanity. And we're going to be hearing from a wide range of experts, including Jean Lumiere, Chairman BMP Paribas, and Ronald O'Hanley, CEO of State Street. While the last of the big issues debates argues that diversity and investment need to step up a gear. And finally, if you haven't already, make sure you've downloaded the latest version of the Cybos app for the best conference and networking experience. We hope you enjoy the final day at Cybos 2020.